This past week has been incredibly eventful in the AI world, with several groundbreaking innovations introduced. These advancements are rapidly accelerating the development of AI technology like never before. From OpenAI's groundbreaking event, introducing new AI tools like GPT-4 Turbo and personalized GPTs, to YouTube's AI-driven features for enhancing video experiences, we're covering a wide range of innovations. We'll also explore Samsung's versatile Gauss AI, Amazon's powerful Olympus AI, and Finn's speedy coding AI, Finn's V7. Additionally, we'll take a look at Humane's unique AI pin wearable, OpenAI's recent service disruptions, Microsoft's partnership with InWorld AI for Xbox game enhancements, and finally, Ply Labs' launch of Playday, a novel text-to-video generator by MySpace founders. Each of these topics represents a significant step forward in AI technology, offering new possibilities and applications in various fields. All right, so OpenAI recently held its first developer event, announcing groundbreaking developments in AI. They've reached notable milestones, with ChatGPT now having over 100 million weekly users and over 2 million developers using its API, which includes advanced models like GPT-4, DAL-E, and Whisper. Impressively, over 92% of Fortune 500 companies use OpenAI's technology for various applications. One of the major announcements was GPT-4 Turbo, an enhanced and more affordable version of GPT-4. It offers text and text image processing capabilities with a larger context window and updated knowledge base. OpenAI also introduced the concept of personalized GPTs, allowing users to create custom AI assistants without coding. These can be shared or monetized through a soon-to-launch GPT store. For developers, OpenAI unveiled a new assistance API, including tools for coding, information retrieval, and integrating other services. Additionally, DALI 3, an improved text-to-image model, and a new text-to-speech API were announced, offering high-quality, affordable options for diverse applications. Microsoft's CEO, Satya Nadella, made a surprise appearance highlighting Microsoft's support for OpenAI's initiatives and potential future collaborations. Despite competition from other tech giants, OpenAI remains confident in its technological advancements and vision for AI's future. Okay, next, YouTube is testing new AI features to enhance video watching. They're using AI to organize comments under longer videos into categories for easier navigation. This helps viewers find relevant comments and provides creators with valuable feedback on their content. Creators can also remove unwanted comment topics. Additionally, YouTube is experimenting with a chatbot similar to ChatGPT. This bot can answer questions about the video, suggest other interesting videos, and even quiz viewers on educational content. It's accessible by clicking an Ask button and is currently available to some YouTube Premium users in the US on Android devices. These tools aim to make YouTube more interactive and personalized, but they're not perfect. AI can sometimes recommend inappropriate videos or off-topic comments. Users should be cautious and verify AI-provided information. There are also concerns about excessive screen time and privacy, as YouTube uses personal data to improve AI. Future AI enhancements might include tips for improving video quality, such as lighting and sound, and pre-screening content for rule violations. This could ease the video-making process, allowing creators to focus more on creativity. Overall, these developments seem promising, but their full impact remains to be seen. All right, next. Samsung has introduced Gauss, an AI that stands out for its versatility in handling language, code, and image generation. Unlike traditional models, Gauss is divided into three components, Gauss language, Gauss code, and Gauss image. This structure allows it to excel in understanding human language, writing diverse programming codes, and creating vivid images from text descriptions. It operates on Samsung's global unified semantic system, GUS, which combines deep learning with natural language understanding. This makes Gauss more than just a sophisticated chatbot. It's a multifaceted AI tool poised to revolutionize the way we interact with technology. Samsung envisions integrating Gauss into their future products, like the Galaxy S24, aiming for a seamless and personalized user experience. Next, Amazon's entry into the AI arena is marked by Olympus, an AI model with an impressive 2 trillion parameters, double that of GPT-4. This immense capacity suggests a potential for more nuanced interactions and greater adaptability. Olympus is the brainchild of Rohit Prasad, the driving force behind Amazon's AI efforts and previously known for his work on Alexa. Amazon's commitment to AI is evident in their heavy investment in AI technologies, 
including a partnership with AI startup Anthropic. Olympus is expected to revolutionize Amazon's vast ecosystem, enhancing everything from the online shopping experience to the functionality of Alexa. However, its large scale also brings challenges, including ethical considerations and the complexity of managing such a vast model. Now, Find released a new AI model called Finn's V7, focused on coding assistance. This model sets itself apart with its exceptional speed, being five times faster than models like GPT-4. Built on CodeLama 34B fine tunes, it has been trained on an extensive data set of coding information. Finn's AI excels in providing quick and accurate coding solutions, boasting a human evil score of 74.7%. While it has improved speed and depth, the model still faces challenges in consistently delivering accurate responses for complex queries. All right, next, Humane's AI Pin, a small square wearable device, is revolutionizing technology with its artificial intelligence capabilities. Designed by former Apple employees, it's a stylish accessory available in black, silver, and gold. Unlike regular smartphones, this pin operates without a screen, using voice and gestures to project a laser display, turning your hand or any surface into a touchscreen. The AI pin, powered by OpenAI's GPT-4, functions as an AI assistant, capable of answering questions, finding information, and executing tasks with natural language understanding. It offers music, podcasts, and audiobooks with its unique Personic speaker, eliminating the need for headphones. With a cellular connection included, it enables phone calls, texts, and offers real-time language translation. Estamos casi listos para enviar la versión final. We are almost ready to ship the final version. Its 13 megapixel camera allows easy photo and video capture. All data, including photos and videos, are securely stored on the Center website. The device tracks fitness and dietary goals, analyzes food for nutritional information, and can be used for reminders and notes. The Humane AI pin emphasizes user privacy with features like the trust light to show when it's listening or recording. It also safeguards against inappropriate content and allows user direction. Unique in the market, it stands out from other wearable AI technologies being developed by companies like Apple and Meta. Priced at $699 with a $24 monthly subscription, it's currently available for pre-order and will start shipping in early 2024. Okay, now, Two days following their developer conference, OpenAI faced significant service disruptions. The company suggested these issues might have been caused by deliberate attacks on their servers. On Wednesday, they announced on their website that they were experiencing intermittent outages. They believe these issues were due to unusual traffic patterns, possibly from a DDoS attack. A DDoS, Distributed Denial of Service Attack, happens when someone overwhelms a server with internet traffic to disrupt normal operations. During this time, Users couldn't access any of OpenAI's tools and services and were informed that the platform was at full capacity. However, OpenAI confirmed to CNN that no user data was affected by these issues. Next, Microsoft recently announced a partnership with InWorld AI to enhance Xbox games. This partnership will bring AI-driven tools to Xbox game developers, including an advanced AI design co-pilot system. This technology is set to revolutionize game development by enabling faster creation of games with more immersive and intelligent virtual worlds, lifelike characters, and gameplay that adapts to players' abilities. The collaboration aims to merge InWorld's expertise in AI non-player characters, NPCs, with Microsoft's AI solutions. The focus will be on developing two main tools, an AI design co-pilot to help game designers with creative ideas, and an AI character runtime engine for dynamic story and quest generation within games. These tools are designed to make game development easier, and push the boundaries of what games can achieve. Microsoft's AI technology, including Azure AI and various co-pilot systems, is already well known. The partnership with InWorld AI, announced on November 6th, highlights Microsoft's growing investment in AI. This includes their 2021 acquisition of Nuance Communications, a leading AI firm specializing in speech recognition, and their AI technology that allows players to control games like Minecraft without manual character movement. This partnership underlines Microsoft's commitment to innovating in AI and its potential to create more extraordinary games. All right, next, Chris DeWolf and Aber Whitcomb, known for founding MySpace and Jam City, have now created Ply Labs. This new venture focuses on using AI for social connections, and they've just launched Play Day, 
a unique text-to-video generator. Playday stands out among other AI video tools like Google's Imogen and Meta's Make a Video by allowing users to personalize videos with their selfies. Imagine making a video where an animated version of you flies over the Grand Canyon or battles aliens. With Playday, you just upload a selfie and type a description. The current output is a three-second video, with plans to increase the length and add sound in the future. An example they shared was a user turning into an English Bobby from the 1800s on the streets of London. The videos show realistic facial expressions and smooth background movement, although they are not perfectly lifelike. One limitation is that the video might not accurately represent facial features like mustaches, as seen in a test where the user's mustache blended into their skin. All right, that concludes this week's AI news. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and click the bell icon to stay updated on all my future uploads. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll catch you in the next one.